Exxon misses as Chevron beats across the board. Here to talk to us about earnings is Tina Davis, Bloomberg's Managing Editor for Energy and Commodities in the Americas. What did we learn from today's results, Tina? Well, it's very much a mixed bag, as you said. Um, Exxon really fell short of, of estimates, and in part that's because of a production miss. They had their lowest first quarter production figure in 19 years, which is quite substantial for a company of that size. And on the other hand, you had Chevron essentially beat by every estimate that was out there. And, you, and in addition, you also had Pemex reporting today their uh, best profit in more than a decade. And basically, it's because if you're able to keep your production up, you're able to make a lot more money these days. So what do investors want from big oil these days? Well, it's been funny. So we've heard a lot about uh, them sort of ready for the, uh, the companies to kind of show them the money. Um, they've been waiting patiently while the oil price has been recovering. And now what they're asking about increasingly is share buybacks and other ways that the companies can reward them for their patience. Um, we saw in Shell's conference call yesterday, there were so many questions on it that the CFO eventually said she was done an answering questions about the issue. Um, but with Exxon, they were very clear today that they have no big buyback programs coming. Uh, Chevron has been uh, sort of hinting that one may come, but they didn't say anything specific yet today. That's fascinating. Now, are investors, you know, voting with their feet? Are they leaving these stocks if they're not hearing what they want to hear? Or are they giving them some more time? Well, we continue to see the majors uh, trailing oil prices. So generally, you know, you'll see an Exxon or a Chevron move in lockstep. When the oil price recovers, they will re recover by the same amount. They've been trailing the, the broader recovery in oil, and that shows that investors are staying away to some extent, uh, not quite sure they want to go all in again with the oil companies.